I was in a mall with some friends, four other friends, and one of them I knew well, and the other three were like new friends. And we were just shopping for random things in a very large modern mall. And I decided to stop at one of those uh, little shops that stays around in the high traffic areas, you know, things like pretzel shops or a shop that uh, sells smoothies. Well, this particular mini shop was selling hard liquor. So I bought some vodka, a big thing of vodka, and I was just uh, chugging on that while we were walking around in the mall. One of my friends gave me a paper bag to put over it so I could drink publicly without getting arrested right away, which is really weird because I don't really drink that much. And um, the other friends were very disappointed and I didn't really know exactly why. Well, they didn't make it clear why they were disappointed that I was drinking. But I think in the dream, I subconsciously knew that they were disappointed because I had to be drunk to be around them. And that applies to a lot of people. I don't tolerate people very well. If I'm going to, if I have to go somewhere and be around people and there's alcohol available, I will get completely drunk. I need to be as dumb as the other people are to communicate at their level. I don't know how to bring myself down to their level with any other means. And this behavior has seemed to manifest itself in my dream. So I got to the top of an escalator and one of my newer friends, who was like a tall dude, he said to me that I have to either give it to him or he's just going to take it from me because he didn't want me to drink anymore. And I was like, okay, I'll give it to you in a second or in a couple seconds. And what I did was I just chugged down the remainder of the bottle, which was like one third of it and just handed it to him. And he was like, you're a douchebag and just walked away. And eventually we got to a movie theater, you know, those smaller movie theaters that are within the uh, mall. Well, we went in there and we started to uh, watch the previews for a movie. And I asked one of the friends, like, what we were watching. And she said that we were watching Home, which is a children's animated movie that I've seen before. It's not, fit, it's not good and I don't want to watch it again. I told them that, I don't have the attention span to watch this movie again and I'm just going to go elsewhere and just roam around the mall. So I don't know much about being around people because I'm the least people person you could possibly imagine. I very much enjoy being by myself, but in this particular dream I had friends and this one friend was very disappointed that I was about to leave them. So this one friend implied that the idea of going to a movie like this is just to be around each other and just to hang out and it doesn't really matter what the movie's about. And even though I was pretty loaded, I could I didn't have the attention span just to hang out with these people because say if we had the ability to speak and converse while the movie was going on, what would we talk about? Like whenever I'm talking to people like this my age, they're always talking about they're gossiping about people, they're talking about cars or uh, what they did at work, very mundane things that are so uninteresting to me. I just can't do it. Like, I can't be around people like this at all. And this particular dream character was pretty offended by that. And that's probably in the dream because I've offended people like this before, likely, a lot of them. Um, and I know it. So that is that dream scene. Thanks for listening. See you next time.